Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin. I'm running for the king. I'm a part-time reseller and I work out of this shed here in my backyard where I'm gonna, well, pull orders, I guess, for this video. We're gonna jump back to Tuesday though, to start off with. We'll work our way through the week until we get back to Monday. I'll see you then. And first up is a pair of socks and not just any socks. These are socks with the fawns on them. They're pretty cool. I picked them up at that private pick and I think they're right over here. And they are definitely new old stock from the 70s. And how cool are these? Uh, they're knee highs and they're nylon socks. They're not really gonna be worn. This is a collector's item. And for these, I did have them listed for a little bit higher, but received a low offer. I countered, they uh, countered again and I accepted. The buyer had reached out and just wanted to make sure that, you know, they were packed between cardboard and they, you know, they arrived just like this. They're not gonna wear them. They wanted them to display and such. So we're definitely gonna do that. Uh, those sold for $20 plus shipping. So not bad for a pair of socks. And then the next up is a VHS tape, not a very big one, but I see it, it's right there. Um, it is right there at the top and I didn't even uh, uh, prep for it. Anyway, it is Christmas with Vince Gill. It's got a bunch of country stars. It is from 1994. And the buyer sent a message, it says, Oh, to ensure safe delivery to Canada, they want me to make sure it's in a plastic sleeve and, and cardboarded and everything. I will definitely make sure it gets out to the buyer safely. It's going through the uh, eBay uh, International though. So it may get repacked before it gets to the buyer, but you know, hopefully it'll get there safe. And if not, well, we're covered. Once it gets to Chicago, this sold $9.99 plus shipping. Since I have you on the wall there, I'm gonna leave you there. I got my last item. It's kind of big. I'll be right back. And it's right here, it's in this banged up box. Let me dig it out, I'll show you what they are. They're in this original box here, but I don't think it's gonna be able to be shipped like that, it's just the boxes. Seen it's uh, seen better days, but these are 3M filters. And I had picked these up at an estate sale on Saturday that I went to, and there wasn't much left of the estate sale, but they had this big tub, they wanted $20 for it, and it included four of these filters. So there's two in this bag, there's two in another bag. I rebagged them after photographing, and then, there was this uh, filtration, like it was a full mask and it had the tube that went into the blower motor and then it had this big battery pack and uh, I parted it out. So I knew, I looked up the filters. That's the only thing I looked up uh, when I was at the estate sale and it looked like these sold for 20 to $25 a piece. So that's 80 bucks, you know, in my head. There was another bag of smaller filters. In fact, uh, they're right here. I haven't got them listed yet. And then there was uh, the blower motor itself and I didn't know how that looked. I ended up parting that out. Uh, I wasn't gonna trust the battery. It was, well, the invoice on these were from the year 2000. So, you know, who knows how long that battery would actually last. So I did dispose of that, but I uh, listed everything else and it's gonna do really, really well for me. These sold for $89.99 plus shipping for the four. So I just lotted them together. I figured that'd be the fastest way to uh, sell them and I can ship them all at once. And this must be what it feels like to have like multiple days with high-end sales. Because yesterday, at least on my last video, I had a really great Monday. If you haven't seen it, you gotta check it out. But uh, where I sold another item for hundred bucks that I picked up Saturday. This is the second item. I'm at $90 is not bad. Uh, that blower motor I've listed for like $80. The, the power cord for that battery I listed for 50. And if I could find stuff like that all the time, then I would do a lot better than selling, you know, $5 CDs and DVDs. So, you know, obviously that's the plan is to find higher dollar stuff. It's just, there's not very plentiful in my area. So anyway, I'm super stoked for this, for this sale. Uh, I'm super happy because uh, funds were being depleted pretty quickly. So I'm happy to have that. And I will see that in my bank account, I guess, next Tuesday. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me. If anything else comes in, uh, while I'm packing things up and before my work day gets over, before I go to the post office, I will add it in right here. And I do have one more now that my work day's done. So I am breaking in here. Uh, it is a, it's a lot of Happy Meal toys. So it's back over there, but my death pile's in the way. So I'm going to climb over it and uh, I'll show you what it is. Well, actually it's already pre-packed. So I'm just going to show you the box. It is a lot of six Happy Meal toys for Guardians of the Galaxy. Nothing super special. I got them last summer, I think. Uh, in a big, huge uh, box of Happy Meal toys. And these sold on offer $8 plus shipping. So it's not a huge one, but I'm happy with the sale. I can get it out. It's already pre-packed. So it's gonna roll out today with those other three. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me. I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday.
Hey everyone, today is Wednesday. It is the 25th of September. I have two sales so far, so not great, but we're, you know, it's okay. It's okay. We got two sales. I'm going to show them. We got to pull them. We got to ship them anyway. And uh, they're both clothing items. So I think the first one is right up here and it's in C5. Uh, they're these dicky pants. So I had two pairs of these I picked up last Tuesday and uh, they've both sold now. These sold on offer $26.99 plus shipping. Now these are at my hometown thrift. They were marked at $3. It was half off afternoon. And so I got them for $1.50. I paid 13 flat for everything that I picked up that day. And uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good flip. So that's the fourth item out of that uh, $13 pickup that I've sold. The other item are some t-shirts. It's in C1. I'm going to go grab them. And here they are. They are two t-shirts. They're white, but they're not blank. They have printing on them. They're just two t-shirts in one bag. These are Isaac Mizrahi uh, Live uh, holiday t-shirts, and they're sketches of uh, girls with dogs. So um, you can see it when I show the picture here. I picked these up at a yard sale. I think they're like a dollar a piece or something. They sold for $18.49 plus shipping on offer. Both these items sold on eBay. Nothing on Poshmark, nothing on Macari today to show you. And I have to be quick. I have meetings all afternoon, so I can't run over on my lunch. I'm going to get these packed up. I'm going to finish out my work day. If anything else comes in, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Hopefully, it is Thursday. Hey, folks, today is it's Thursday. I have some sales, just two, nothing big, but I want to show you. And the first one is a book set and, well, a lot of books from the same author and it's in a box down here behind my death pile and this one I've had for quite a while and it is pre-boxed and look at this weird box for books it's long and skinny but they fit in it and so that's what I had used uh they've been like I said listed for quite a while uh I was pre-boxing book lots just because it, it was easier to organize but I've stopped doing that lately anyway these sold on offer uh for eight dollars 99 cents plus shipping not a big sale, but uh, I saw a watcher and I gave them a 10% off offer and they took it. So happy to see those finally go out. There was eight books in there and I'm sure they were 20 cents a piece at the very most. I may have picked them up at the library, which means they're 10 cents. So uh, there's a little bit of profit in that. Uh, not a lot to begin with, though. The other item I sold is uh, this Donald Trump uh, like Russian nesting doll set. Let me stick you on the wall. All right, now that you're up there, this one is a set of five... Uh, Donald Trump dolls. So there's like the main one and then there's this one and then there's this one and then there's a smaller one and then there's an American flag doll inside the very smallest one or on the painted on the smallest one and uh, picked these up in a state sale for like a buck or something. I just thought it was funny. It's been sitting on my desk for a while uh, but I decided to list it because now is the time to sell these type of things and this sold uh, this morning sold for $14.39 plus shipping. And I think I had them listed for 16 and I sent a, an offer on it. So uh, that's going to go out as well. It'll be super easy uh, to ship out. And that's my two items. They both sold on eBay. So I guess I will see you tomorrow. If nothing else sells, see you on Friday. Hey folks, today is Friday. It is the 27th of September. It is early in the morning. It's not even 7 a.m. yet, but I have one order to pack up. And then I got to head out to my daughter's uh, Christian school because I'm doing, well, I'm teaching at the uh, chapel devotions. So I'm doing that and I want to get this one order that I have so far packed and ready just in case I don't get back in time uh, before the post office closes because I think I'm going to try to source today at a couple thrift stores. It's a plush. It's in plush two, which is down here. Let me pull it out. And it's really more than a plush. It's 12 plush koalas. I think there's a tie in there. There's like a squeeze thing. There's a bunch of vintage. There's one that says, I love you, Carol. And these came out of the crafty storage unit. Uh, I tried to sell them on Whatnot several months ago and I just didn't get any bids. And then just kind of sat in my death pile again for a while. And then I listed them and they sold. And they sold on offer. It's not a big sale, but uh, you know, the crafty storage unit was paid off like two years ago. Uh, that sold for $9 plus shipping. So I'm gonna pack that up, get that ready to go out the door. Then I'm heading off to school. And if I get any orders and I get back in time, I'll definitely show you. Otherwise I'll probably ship them tomorrow morning. And I'll probably show you that too. I keep yapping. If I don't see you later today, I'll see you tomorrow or Monday, whichever comes next. Hey everybody, it's still Friday. And yeah, my shirt changed colors. I poured coffee down it somewhere between packing that first order and getting out to go to the school. But I'm back and we're good. I have one more order. We're going to get it out before I head to the post office. 
It is a sweater. It's in C2. This is a Christmas story sweater. I think it's from Kohl's is what the tag says. It still has tag, it's new. Picked it up at a yard sale for a dollar. This one sold on offer for $11 plus shipping. And I think I had it listed at 15, but uh, trying to move some things because I have more clothes to list. I'm, gonna, I'm attacking that death pile, hopefully, as much as I can right now. And so trying to get those, I need a place to put them. This is a place, it's going out. $11, I took it. That's it for the day. So I had the uh, Koala plush and the sweater. That's going to be the two. That's going to be it. I'm getting ready to head to the post office. And then I expect that I will see you on Monday. Hey folks, today is Monday. It is the 30th of September. It is going to be August tomorrow. That is crazy. Anyway, not a great weekend. Really not. I have six items in five orders. That's it. Nothing big, but I need to pull them. I got to ship them. So the first one is on Macari. I actually got a Macari order and it is a DVD set and I'm looking for it. I think it's right down here. Here it is. It is Bill Gaither's Homecoming Hymns on DVD and Bill Gaither's Christmas Hymns on DVD. And uh, I don't know, I picked this up in an estate sale. I may have like a dollar at most into it. It sold full asking price on Macari, $14.39 plus shipping. Next up is a piano music book. I picked up oh, when I got all those free music books at a yard sale earlier in the season. This one is the Praise and Worship Fake Book, and it is sheet music and uh, for piano, guitar, and such. And this sold $9.99 plus shipping. Not a huge amount, but all profit. I have some more neckties going out, and I don't pick up a lot of neckties. And I picked these up at Goodwill for a dollar a piece. They were not a good buy. These are two McDonald's uniform ties. So there's this black one. It's just striped. It doesn't say anything on it. There's this like checkered one and it says McDonald's on it. And the ones with characters or Big Macs or something on them work best. But, you know, they sold at least and they sold on offer $8.99 plus shipping. Some things I enjoy picking up even if I know there's not a lot of money in it. And like hat pins, lapel pins are one of them. I know it's weird. I did pick up a set of hat pins at an estate sale, not last this last Saturday, but the Saturday before, and they sold. I stuck them in here with my remaining Zobi pins, and they are right here. They are hot air balloon pins. There's four of them. You'll see them in the picture when I show you, and these sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I picked up a bag of hat pins for a dollar, so in the profit for sure. I have one more listing I need to put up. I just had to get them all sorted, cleaned, and wiped down and everything. Okay, last sale, it's two coffee mugs, or Steins, really. Stoneware Steins. I picked them up at a yard sale. I think I paid 50 cents each, so I'm a dollar in. Uh, pretty decent sales. It took a while for them to sell, though, and, uh, well, I gotta go get them. They're back there. I'll be right back. I listed them separate, A and B, or A and B, and they're from Walnut, Illinois, the Walnut Brewersville 100th anniversary uh, in 1972. So... I assume these are from 1972. They're both uh, half liter Stein, stoneware Steins, and they're fairly rough, but that's the way stoneware is. Like I said, I'm about a dollar into them. They sold for, let's see, they sold for $29.98 plus shipping. So I guess I had them listed at 15 each. So uh, these are going out and uh, they'll take a little bit to pack because they're heavy and I don't want them to cling against each other, but I'm pretty certain I can get them there without them breaking. Those are the five orders I have. Five? Five, yes. Five orders, six items. So uh, it's going to be a light packing day for a Monday, but happy for each sale. And really, I didn't do any sourcing this weekend. No yard sales here because we got all the rain from the hurricane that's come up. And so it poured all day, all day Friday, all day Saturday, part of the day yesterday. And so not a lot of uh, yard sales happening in the rain. There was a couple like citywide sales or village wide sales but I didn't even go because I didn't think there'd be anything open or if there was, it'd be slim pickings. So not a great weekend for sourcing or for listing, but that's the way it goes sometimes. And what can you say? The ebbs and flows of reselling. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me this week as I pulled orders. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and I do appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I would appreciate that as well. And I just want to say, I hope you all have a great day. God bless.